Hello, hello. Are we awake? Boop. I have water now instead of coffee. Thank you for that host, Marcus. I hope you are not dead. Please don't be dead, that would be very sad. I see my rabies emo and that makes me very happy. Hi. We're gonna do the thing, the thing, the friend bow thing. Oh god, I just noticed her eyes follow the cursor. Spoopy. Are you familiar with Franbo Starlever? <laughs> well, that's good. It's, uh, it's probably really good to go into this game blind, because, uh, well, it's something. Um, I guess I should preface this by saying that it's, uh, got some gore in it, it's spoopy, there's weird shit, and there's a little girl. But, uh, I love this game a lot. I have watched people on YouTube play it, so I'm familiar with it, um, but this will be my first time actually playing it myself. So let's get started. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat! So sweet and pretty. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. He's so cute. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? Poop. 
Poor Mr. Midnight. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down, this is part of your recovery. My parents are dead. Recovery, don't you get it? Oh, poor thing, everything will get better, I promise. Better? Then let me go. That would be better. You should not tell me how to do my job. But now I have something for you, friend. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There is something inside. Dearest friend, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love and grace. She is worried about you. Aunt Grace? Oh, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. Can I leave now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medicine. I don't want to try more medicine. It's called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. I see. Well, here, friend, take your medicine. I don't feel good. Oh no, take her back to her room. Nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Beware, friend Bo. If you leave the House of Madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Hey! What's up, Ultra? How did you fail today? Chapter 1. My Sober Day. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Age 10, female. The patient, patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. Uh, details omitted. Try different medications. All have been cancelled because of side effects. Psycho- what? 
I'm not that for sure. Side effects. Effe effects affecting one side of me? Oh dear, I really wonder who brought me here. I don't want to, I just woke up. Unpleasant nightmares, no thanks. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Sixty bucks? On what? What'd you get? Was it worth it? Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. I will get your nose. I will get it. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. It does the same as before. Huh. Red and tiny, you were hiding from me. Oh dear, I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Holy moly, something fell. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Fren. Or is it defense tower? I guess that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Oh, a secret box. Shh. I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will, if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Nobody will help you escape. Leave me alone, I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Was it at least stuff you needed? I mean... Lunch is a good thing, right? People need to eat. Also coffee. Coffee's good. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. Fiddlemore Bronstone. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel. The boy... Has developed paranoid behavior, paranoia, not yet diagnosed. Uh, refuses to be questioned. Oh, poor Phil. I understand why you wouldn't trust them. If I sit down, I will eventually get up. So what's the point? To be seated or not to be seated? That is the question. Okay.
My legs are just fine. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is your money, and if if you if you want to spend it and can spend it, then. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels? Towels? I don't need towels. I don't think I need any of this. I can't see through the window. Can I see through this window? Ah, oh, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Um, I like the bunny swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You were nothing but trouble. What is it? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. <sighs> accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? No, miss. I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. I'm gonna look at your shit now. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Mm. The nurse's handwriting is awful. I only understand three words. Fran, sleeping, and duotine. Uh, the patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social f for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come and play. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to se several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Traumas. Trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. That brain looks like a turtle. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Can I not close the door? Okay. Um, so... Well, hide. Um, eight, nine, four, five. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. The pills! Kitty told me these would help. Now I got jugs. Um. Nope, okay. I wasn't sure if that would open that. And I can't go further, so let's take some drugs. This will be fun, right?
Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you alright? Hello? Huh. I will take this though. Nothing spoopy outside, I guess. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? My bl my mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looked sad. Get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad? Are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, just wake up. Hello, thing in the window. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Where did the clown go? I hope he's not around here. It looks like he escaped from the painting. I wish I could know the answer. I'll find out, I promise. To happiness. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Phil is playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad. Phil is crying. Oh, poor Phil. Do you see? You killed the bird. Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. Can you see? Oh, wouldn't Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? Back and forth. A trip of our lives. Hee-haw! Hello. Oh no, your head! I'll try to put your head back on. I'm sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Was that real? Oh, dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Foxy, why are you so sad? Hmm. I don't think there's anything else left to do. <coughs> I don't remember how to fucking open this thing. Nope, okay. There's nothing else in that. Nothing else here. And nothing else here. Oh. 
Oh shit, I don't know what I'm missing. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. What the fuck? Oh, it's open? I didn't know it was fucking open. I thought it was locked. That's where the key comes from. There we go. Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. I will find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. I wish my parents were alive. Um... Yes. And then we use this. Oh, you're fine, Starletter. No worries. Yes. To happiness. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent, a teddy bear, and many other things. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair, and your booty will be flat like your face. That's weird. Hello. You see them. You do, right? What? You see what? The creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. Do you know what they are? I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon. A crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. I want to find my cat. Draw a cat if you don't have one. I could draw my cat, but I'd rather find him. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him. I know. Who told you that? The one that follows me. Bye. Cool. This bed is very pink. Oh, real flowers. They smell so sweet. Oh, this is one of those mute clowns. I've seen so many and they all look sad. This one is very happy, though. Good for him. The drawer is empty. Okay. The maze. We never get to play there. Tonight's fog is pretty thick. I wish I could I wish I could get lost in there. The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. I can and will hold it. Ha, huh, you there, you should be in your room. The door was closed. But you left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. Well, how did I get out then? It was open. Mm, don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. 
Suck it. I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Did you break out of your room? That's not nice, friend. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. Sir, doctor, please just let me go out and eat something. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. Of course, sir. Lesson learned. Just don't do it again, friend. Go and eat now, then get back to bed. Is there anything else to do in here? Nope. First, let's do this. What was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. You're my beloved friend. Beep, beep, boom. If you want to hug me, try to catch me. If you can't catch me, catch me, it's because you haven't found me. The king likes drawings. I don't like this. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. Maybe if I touch it, it will jump and scare me a lot. Hmm. All right. Nothing happened. It must be dead. Even the purest of things die in this place. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. He takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. Nobody believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. What? This wasn't here before. Sir Oswald Har Harrison, a bearded old man. Wonder why he built this place. Maybe he had a crazy child and wanted to get rid of it. This gate is very locked. I guess I've never seen this gate unlocked. Not even when I first came here because I don't remember that. The yellow door, that is my way out. I have to open it, but how? Phil said that the doctor's office is the key. That sign shows where things are in the hospital. But what it doesn't show is how awful this place is. It says, it should say, welcome to the mo- It should say, welcome to the most terrible place in the world. I wonder what that blinking light is for. It's very hypnotic. I wish I could shut it down. The reception room. You always find a nurse in there. I could smile and bow and tell the nurse to open the gate, but then again, they'd really think I'm insane. Hey, get your hands off the office door. Oh, fuck you. Sir, the key hanging up there, can I have it? Sure. I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. You'll give me the key? A kiss? Are you serious? And then you give me the keys? Sure, come here and sit on my knee. What a loser. I hope you die with a giant pineapple grows in your butt. You're a fucking creepy piece of shit. Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? 
I just wanted to know if you feel okay. I don't want to tell you. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. He ate your brain? He will eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no, then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Isabel? She won't wake up. I guess this means she's heavily sedated. Would you like to help me escape? With your big muscles and hairy arms? You could break through every wall. Good night, shiny toys. Have you seen my kitty? He is the most funny and clever guy. You would like him. Elephant, sir, you are very pink and soft. You look like you have been training at the circus, and your tummy is filled with love. Clowns on the wall in the House of Madness. You're way better inside that frame than down here, sir. Your tiny hat is very sweet. The smile on your face is quite scary. Did you say something? Ugh, creepy. The action men. Could either of you help me find my kitty? The soldier lost his leg in the war, and the cowboy ate the princess. Little paper boat, take me to the sea and beyond. I wonder if this paper boat can sail, because if it sinks, I could drown and I can't, because I can't swim. Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work, the paper is not working. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. But what is it the paper has to do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Oh, I see, but why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Okay. It works, it works, a miracle. Thank you, paper vision positive. Great, can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. Oh, thank you. I suppose I can use the paper to write or draw on. I'm busy, paper vision revision in action. Yoink. Well, now I can write or draw when I'm bored. Feels like a chilly breeze of sadness coming through this fence. I wonder what they truly do down there. Maybe I don't want to know. What have we here? Chocolate? Mmm, yummy. I don't like bitter coffee. The menu of the day? Mmm, pasta. The signal is weird. That must be because we're so far away from everything. I don't really understand what they say. Mommy loved to paint roses. Mommy loved to paint roses, oh, okay. The sofa, made to be sat on. I can't sit, the sofa's taken. This smells like poo. I don't like this painting. It feels like Mr. Oswald is staring at me. I guess Mr. Oswald is very old, old enough to be dead. Mr. Midnight? Are you here? I suppose not. Oh dear, what should I do to find my kitty? Mmm, I can see the cinnamon bun melting in my mouth. I wonder if that pasta was cooked today. Not by the look of it. Salad looks fresh for once. Milky milk. I guess this carton is all sour, like always. 
a little lemonade. I'm not that thirsty. I miss Mr. Midnight. That's the only thing I know. Hello. Oh, hello, friend. How are you today? I see dead animals, miss. You mean in the television? No, I mean for real. Just forget it. Very well, friend. Go play with your friends now. The grandfather clock is big and grand. Tick tock, tick tock. It will never stop. Hi. Okay, bye. Birdie bird, I like you. I wish you could take me out of here. Can you? Fly away, what are you waiting for? And he loves to drink the milk like a kitten. Sadly, she's not my cat. I'm gonna miss her. I guess she won't remember me. I don't want this, I'm not hungry. I guess if Damien eats the pasta, it can't be that bad. Don't disturb me, go away, I'm eating. This door is always locked at night. I can't go out and play. I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow, but that's absurd. I have to find my kitty. Don't touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I'm your king. Oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I want your walking cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness, your sword. What would you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. Sure. Hello. Are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Could you please kill me? Please. Sure! Bang! You are dead. Thank you. I can't talk now. I'm dead. Cool. Hey Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? N no, why would I? Because I can do magical tricks and make you sleepy. Magical tricks? I didn't know you could. Show me. Show you, but it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I can't, I'm not a magician. I can give you the magical stuff. Really? Yes, the magical stuff that will make anyone fall asleep. Oh, that's amazing, powerful, and grand. Here, as a gift. Take it. Slowly. Alright, how does it work? I have no idea. Okay, bye. Boop. 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 Oh, this is a magical cake now. A sleepy, sleepy cake. Now I can use the rope to tie the hook with something. Okay, cool. Um, so let's do this. Oh, God. That holy man took all your clothes off. Oh, how pretty all these roses are, right? Your mommy doesn't believe you? Please tell me if you can hear me. 
Why do you have this creature next to you? He's staring at you. Maybe he wants to eat you. It's alive. If Kitten were here, he would probably attack it. Hope it doesn't start following me. They hired you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. Oh, little boy, everyone feels ashamed of you. Oh no, the lady nurse died. I wonder who did this. It wasn't me. She smells really, real bad. It feels like the smell is all over me. Teddy? What are you doing here? Are you on your way to meet another Teddy? Say hello from me when you get there. I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. Well, that happened. Wake up, Isabel. The black shadow is touching you. It says that you're going to die soon. Are you afraid of death? I hope not, because it may happen even if you don't like it. Oh no. They did it all wrong. They cut your head into little pieces. Please take me out of here. Please take me out of here. Look at me. I say I care while you're dying of hunger and thirst. Look at me. I say you're beautiful while I give you poison to eat. Look at me. I say I love you while I'm teaching you to hate yourself. Where did the clown go? I hope he's not around here. Same thing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, good. Wonder what part of the body that is. Sticky, bloody parts. I don't want to touch it. Uh, Mr. Pig is naked. Mr. Pig has no wings to fly with. No flying Mr. Pig here for me to see. You, the crunchy pig's head ready to be served. I wonder who would eat this. I think my kitty would be afraid of it. Oh, this clock sounds odd. It feels like it's whispering right in my ear. Hmm, I can't understand what it says. Hello up there, miss. Your dress is very pretty. My mother had very pretty dresses, too. A bleeding clock. It's like time is broken and stopped. I find clocks to be a bit depressing. Okay, so... I need a crayon. Crayon! I draw, I draw with a crayon! Um... That's mine! My crayons! I just like the screen crayon so much! Can I have it? No! I won't be able to draw green then, that's ridiculous! Well, that's true, but you have so many other colors! Yes, many colors, but you know they don't like me drawing! Ooh. The nurses. They tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. Yes, they tie me up sometimes, too. It hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Please. 
please cure me, yes, and stop the red milk? I'll see what I can do. Band-aids fix everything. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go. I have to draw. Oh, I'll draw something special for the king. Bye, you fucking piece of shit. And... Hi, Ruiner. Thank you for that follow. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamt of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Yes. Okay. Now we have a pokey thingy. See if I can remember how to do this. A cake! Eat it! I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Oh, wow, you will regret it. It's very yummy. Alright, leave it on the table. I'll eat it later. Take it now. It's very fresh. Directly from the oven. Alright, then let me taste the bun. Night night, you piece of shit. Oh, he sleeps like a little princess. Now, boop, I got you. Now I can unlock the office. Um, don't think I need to do anything else. Oh, wait, nope. This is the office. Okay. I wonder what people do at those gatherings. What a lovely painting. I wish I could draw like that. October and November. I guess we are in November now. Testing day. Every day is testing day. An interview with Dr. Deere about working with children. Oh, I've seen this before. What does it mean? Oh, the code. And some important information, finally. You are not alone. Join us today, Oswald Asylum. What tiny text. Thoughts of Marcel Deere. Um... The books are all the same. I wonder whose head that is. Oh, I'd love to open mail, but this is not for me. The yellow typewriter. I could write a letter to Aunt Grace. Dear Aunt Grace, take me out of here, please. No pictures or funny riddles. Mr. Midnight could tell me a riddle. He loves them. This book is not interesting. Um, the doctor ate an apple. I could use this as a helmet to prevent injuries when I faint. But I guess my hair does a good job, too. Vision, taste, and hearing? I learned some of this at school. I don't remember it all. The brain is so complicated. I don't even understand all of my thoughts. I guess nobody does completely. It's always good to carry an extra key. Mm. Okay. I don't really know what this is. Cool air comes out of it, like the wind. I guess behind this there's a hole. A wind hole. I hate this bed. 
I'm not laying down here. I've cried so many times here. The doctor used to sit here and do nothing. Phil? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? You little shit. Phil, please let me out. I shouldn't scream if they find me in here. I'm in big trouble. Where did I put the key? Wait, I didn't do this. Let's do this. Oh, that dead girl looks a bit like me. Well, I'm sedated and I see weird stuff, but I'm not dead. I can breathe and talk and all things a living person does. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Even though your eyes are bleeding, you can't fail, feel. Don't hide what hurts. Let it hurt you. Cool. The key doesn't work here. Hello, random skeleton hand. Sure. Oh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. Oh, that rat really hit its head. I should give it a helmet. I'll just keep going and going. Oh dear, where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. There is nothing under the blanket. Old and rusty. I guess I have a place to sleep if I don't find the way out. A mop that will dance on the floor. Mr. Midnight hates mops. He always tried to kill them with his furious paws. The box is open. Let me see. I could take it and taste it, but I don't want to. Besides, it's not good to eat things that can be bad. Because they are bad, so why take it? Yellow pills. Oh, they look more fun than the red ones. I wonder why I get the red pills instead of yellow. Maybe they just ran out of color. Bad pills. I just take them to find Kitty. I think I'll quit when I find Mr. Midnight. Or maybe just until I take them all. Scraped label. Hmm. That bottle is empty. I guess they would put some pills in it. Patient is our current target. Target response is positive, now expanding the triggered gland. Ectoplasmatin dose up to 1700 micrograms. Change the container so it looks like an approved variant of duotine. What child? Who wrote this? I wonder what this means. I really won't miss this hospital a bit. The gloves tell me nothing. All nurses wear gloves. No water to wash my hands. Huh, cleaning products. They should clean our toilets. I don't think I need any of these. Okay. Oh, if I were a witch, I could fly away from here. I'd fly with my kitty while the night is filled with shining stars. And we would visit curious places because we both like curious things. I can try again and again. This key? If you struggle, you will know that it was I. 
I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Oh, my dear kitty, we'll be together again, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. At the end of the maze, Fran. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Okay. You really lose your head in this place. Hopefully I can escape before I lose mine. Lies in a box? Cool. My path to life has been denied. I haven't been born, but I was alive. I'm waiting for a mother to love me. You can't blame those who are ignorant, but you can't let ignorance decide. Life will teach you, even through pain and tears. Okay. The operating room. I don't want to go inside. It smells like rotten flesh. I don't want them to play with my head in there. Who is that? Sir? Wake up! It says, Itward. I don't know what that means. That was weird. Clicked out of the game somehow. Oh, boy. Why do you have your brain out? It is, is it too warm in there? Hmm, you won't answer. I guess the mice will come and have some meat. Psycho surgery procedure lobotomy. Failed anesthetic. The patient woke up after reaching frontal lobe. Robert, the TV boy. That is why he had that big scar. I don't want them to touch my brain. No, sir. Oh, no. Poor girls. Hi, Sir Sand. How are you? I hope I never end up like this. I won't if I leave this sick place and find Mr. Midnight. Hello? Are you resting? Did you puke? That's disgusting. I hope you get well soon. Oh, so I did go all the way around. I'm just under the kitchen now, but I can't go upstairs, it's locked. Yes, I took the new one upstairs. Franbo? I haven't seen her. What, the key to the cellar? Well, no. And the doctor's office? He used to have the key there. Calm down, the key is not here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it, alright? Bye. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I'm at the reception already. This is grand. But the nurse, I have to get rid of her. What should I do? Miss Nurse, I hope you want to go to the toilet soon. Okay, I have 
don't remember. Ooh. Did you get anything good at the game store? Or were you just looking? Um... I think it was adding them up, yeah. So two, nine, three, two. Did I add that right? Oh, you are all skinny. Why are you hanging up there? Are you a nurse too? Oh my goodness, are you okay, little baby? Is that your mommy hanging out there? Do you miss her? I miss my mommy too. That is exactly what Mr. Midnight told me. I wonder what's at the end of the maze. Whatever it is, I hope I can find my kitty. Oh, that's cool! Can I know what you got him, or is it a secret? I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Oh, a love letter. Dear Pete. Ugh, gross. The key holder. So let's put this. Boop. And then... Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. Bye. Okay, what did I say? Two nine. Two nine three two. Yes, okay. I'm the very best. little bitch, I will make you pay for what you did. How about you go fuck yourself, you creep? Or that. You clever little girl. Did you think you could just leave? What? It can't be. No. Can I, can I get up now? I need to get to the maze. Wait, it's too midnight. Many games. Come back, Mr. Midnight. Don't leave me. Oh, I don't know if this is actually the way I'm supposed to be going. Nope, no go. That's not where I was clicking. Maybe here? Nope, oh, up there. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. This way. Oh shit. Go away. 
away, go away, go away. Sneaky, sneaky. Sorry for the noises of the thing that probably just... Run! Yay! At the end of the maze you will find... The evil critters of the night. They will hunt you. They will laugh. But there will always be a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts will always be your guide. No, our picture! Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. What is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Chainmail bikini? Do I even want to know? <laughs> it can be good to have a cozy place to stay. Well, if I'm very tired, I could use it. I guess I'm not sleeping until I find my kitten. Dear, your arm is gone. Good that you were not bleeding. I'm kind of tired of all the red milk coming out of everyone. Who dares to leave an innocent teddy without shelter? I wonder. I have a door now. Oh, this instrument is pretty. It reminds me of a snake that sounds like an elephant. And those tiny insects that roll themselves into balls. It says Jance, and I have no idea why. Maybe it's just a name like mine or Mr. Midnight's. Maybe a music maker that stopped loving music. What a pretty horse. The king would like this one. I'm not going back, though. He must escape himself. I wonder if they were looking for me. I know a story about a girl with red shoes, and she had a dog. I like animals, all of them. Dogs are animals. Anyway, it's just a shoe, really. I should leave it there. Mr. Midnight? Are you in there? I guess not. I'll keep searching. Hello, tree. Wow, this is a really big insect. Or is it a pig? Well, it's very odd. Oh, wow! You really are a very big ant. Who's there? Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you a real? Oh, you always ask the same thing. Always. Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where did you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital, but please don't tell anybody. I won't tell, don't worry, but what are you doing here? My cat is out here somewhere, and I have to find him. A cat, you say? Yes, sir, a black cat with very big yellow eyes. Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I am sorry, girl. Please, at least tell me if you saw him around here. It happens to be that the cat is eaten, chewed and swallowed. Eaten? What do you mean? 
the black cat that came towards me in a hurry. I catch it, I give it to my beetle pig. But beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. The blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it, can't you see? Mr. Midnight is the only one I have. Everything is wrong. Wrong. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do know, yes. I'm the last one alive. Let me tell you, yes. How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still inside the beetle pig. Should I do something, like make the beetle pig vomit? Kill the beetle pig. He is also the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. I'm curious to know if my kitty is still in there. Do it! You can kill the beetle pig, and I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. Oh, you pig, did you eat my cat? Mr. Midnight? Just wait, don't die. I'll take you out of there real soon. What kind of bird are you? You look like an owl. Is that it? Your feathers are beautiful. Whoa, a terrible axe. I will be the warrior and the savior of something. I didn't read it fast enough. Make an entry. But how? Entry is like when you enter somewhere. So I have to enter this. Oh well, I could try to open it and see what's inside. I can't move the top, it's stuck. Just my luck. I can't force it with my delicate hands. I need something else. Like an axe. I'll take that. Tickle tickle. I'll keep it. I like it. What? What a bluff. There is no hole here. All my forces united to do something unnecessary. There must be a meaning, otherwise it wouldn't be here. Hello, shapes in the darkness and the foreground. Wow, these are very rare leaves. They look a bit sad and old. Maybe they aren't leaves, they are too white. Curiosity is damned. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I like to be curious, otherwise how will you learn things? But what are you? You are kind of curious yourself. What is the right question, but why should be more appropriate? I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but that key isn't ours, and it's not yours, for sure. It's always good to have an extra key, especially when you are up to something. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. My name is Fran, and I'm a person. And you? Interesting. Tell us more. I have a cat. Well, well I had one. He is missing now. I have to find him. Really? Yes, really. Now please give me the key. Look, person friend, we came from the south, flying as always, and one of us got curious about this key, and all of us got stuck here, and because of our long hair, we can't get loose. So you are also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. All right, do that then. There is a problem. A filthy thief took the comb. Now we are stuck forever. If you find the thief and the comb, you will have the key. Deal? Yes, but what does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissist rat. He took the comb to be beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. I'll try my best. 
We will be here waiting. Okay. Okay. So, I guess we're gonna murder a beetle pig. Or not. Please excuse me while I make chair noises and adjust in my seat. My chair is noisy. Sorry. It's fine. It seems that shouting and pushing him won't help. Maybe I have to try something more subtle. Wake up, the pig won't stay still. Tickle, tickle. Ah, the thread is great, great. Oh, sorry, but the beetle pig gets scared every time I try to kill it. Oh, I see, but that is completely normal, isn't it? Yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries. Hmm. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I see, but where do I find these berries then? I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Well, thank you, sir. Okay. Sorry. Now chair. It's fine. Okay. Squeak. Good night, Mrs. Moon. How is everything? You are very pretty tonight. I think you make night very scary, but it's alright. A little tiny house. Hello, I'm Fran. This looks tasty. Tasty. Should I? Maybe not. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Um, there is no smoke coming out of the chimney. A mushroomy pipe on the roof. Why did he put a mushroom on the pipe? Maybe he lost it. Hello? Is somebody home? It looks like a lamp is lit, but I can't see anybody. Hello? This must be the ant's house. It seems to be open, but very stuck. The power of destruction will take it down. I guess we're just gonna fucking destroy everything. Oh no, I broke the door. Well, now I can get in. The door handle to handle big problems. I'll keep it. Someone forgot to clean the brush. It's firmly attached to the door. Old people are so fun. They do unexpected things. I shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment. Nope, that's not, that's not. Nope, 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 nope. This is almost perfect. My door is missing something. Like that. I made a door. I wonder where it will lead me. <laughs> Hello, ant porn. Wow, ant queen. I never saw anything like this. Sir Ant must be in love with her. I wonder how ant love works. It's all about the meat, I guess. Mmm, tea time, sir. 
Um, what is this? Underpants? They smell good. Grandpa soap. So this means the big ant was naked? This is odd. I never th thought ants cooked their me me meals. Words are hard. But then again, I'm... Crap. But then again, I'm all confused and he is not an ant. He is a man that looks like an ant, but no. He must be an ant. There is water in the sink. Maybe Sir Ant likes to drown tiny monsters in there. Or maybe he's just a very clean ant. I wish I could sleep with my kitty on this bed. But I think that under the blanket will be a lot of creatures. Like bugs and such that would like to eat my brain. He wouldn't mind if I take a little meat for those who are hungry. Oh, that's a thing. Okay. Boop. Sir, you look so angry. Boop. Your family is very nice, Sir Pinecon. Boop. But you are a really scary guy. Boop. Boop. Baby Pinecone. Boop. Don't fall off the chair. Be careful. Boop. Here comes your mommy to the rescue. Wow, you are very rare. Lady Pinecone, what are you cooking? Don't be scared, I just want some berries. Boop. 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 Um. Ooh. Ooh. Aw, oh, crap. I don't have... Um. Hmm. Have some meat. Thanks. Oh my goodness, a pest exterminator. And he's dead. Sir, you have tons of ants on you. I think they are trying to steal your bag. Oh, that's fucking gross. Okay, bye. Oh, a rat trap and some sort of card. The text is almost gone. It says exterminator. Poor tiny monsters. That bug looks seriously mad. I got you, sir. I got you. Sorry, sir. berries now. Okay. Well, I completely fucked up that pinecone family's day. I like how she waves at them. It's totally normal. Wow, this is really big ant hill. It's scary to think how many millions of ants must be inside. I'm not sure if I will go inside then. I should have just... yeah. Ah! Look, Fred, I'm in danger. Find me alive, find me dead. Bip -bop. Find me someday in a golden cage. berries. And now I murder you. 
This is fine. What? You are not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. But where is Mr. Midnight? I assume that you are feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? My cat, my lovely cat, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? My cat is also black. Wait, maybe that cat is my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Why? What happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. The beetle pig is dead now, sir. Thank you. Now we eat. I can't, just so you know, inside the beetle pig there was no cat, but a rat. A rat? Oh, I'm so sorry. You see, my eyes are very old. I also have heart problems and a very bad back. I also suffer from narcolepsy and sometimes I don't. He's sleeping. Good for him. Good night. I'm very sorry, Beetle Pig. I wish I didn't kill you. But you are dead now, so you can't hear me. I really wanted to find Mr. Midnight. Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness, could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there is anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it, please? Alright then, but can you please comb my hair first? Yes, I can comb your hair. It's so cute. Weird, but cute. Thank you, my lady. You were very kind. I got a comb. Do you have any idea how to find my kitty? It depends, my lady. Have you looked around enough to find him? Of course, but it seems that whatever I do, it goes wrong. Okay, my dear lady miss, I wish I could help you. But those who took your cat seem to be from another world. Maybe they had like a portal that nobody else can see. Who knows? A portal? What is a portal? A portal, lady miss, is like a regular door. I think. I see. Thank you, rat. Bye. Oh, need to do this. And give the comb back to the heads. Here's a beautiful comb, mistress. Oh, you friend person. You finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Goodbye, weird bugheads. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. Yoink. I got a key. And now... Rat, who did this to you? Was it my kitty? This is really odd. My own door is locked. But I have a key. What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Chapter 2, Part 2, Double Personality
Oh my goodness, where am I? Ugh, itchy nose. Huh? What is this, a hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head. Kitty. Wait just a second, this is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Huh? That's just not home. I guess they thought I was a cat. They can't love me. They don't even know me. That looks... okay. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Let me see. Bottles, a milk jar, and that dry flowers. Hmm, nothing of interest. Are those eyes? Oh, I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. Okay, well, I have that now. Hmm, a head from a human, I guess. Skulls always look so happy. Maybe they haven't even realized that they are dead yet. Hmm. Close the window so the cold wind stays out. Okay. A cooker to cook. My mommy told me how to use this. I don't like to ma light matches though. It always feels like I'm gonna burn my entire face. <sighs> Spatula, it sounds like Dracula but in a spa. Oh, a sharp, shiny knife. It can be good to have you. To dry my little hands. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. King Leo's baking soda. This always made the biggest cupcakes. Flour makes me sneeze, but that is a funny feeling. Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Mmm. Yummy cookies in all colors and flavors. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. Poor trees. No wonder if they scream all the time while they are burning. Mr. Midnight? Those girls, they took my kitty. I don't like to be selfish, but that is my kitten. I like their blue dresses. Their blue dress, though. I won't sit down. What a pretty can. I won't take somebody else's food. Not all of it, anyway. Pepper. Always good to dress up the soup. If there's garlic, there are no vampires. Kitty likes to play with olives. I guess he thinks they are insects. Squirrel's body parts? I don't want to know. I wonder who Mush is, because he owns all the mushrooms. Oh, it opened. And what is that inside? What an odd little thing. It looks like a seed. This smells like a weed we had in our garden. I don't remember its name. Salt. A very good ingredient. I don't like beans that much. The bag smells funny. I won't touch it. This doesn't bring me any good memories. The window is locked. Great. I have mas matches to light up the darkness, or just for fun. I don't smell. They must be plastic flowers then. Good night, Star Letter. I hope you have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. This looks like a plant. Oh, a dancing teddy. It doesn't have shoes, but it does have a tie. That makes Teddy happy. What a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. A walk on the beach wouldn't take lo so long. It looks like somebody lives there. They have a chimney. 
That was a mysterious woman. I like a blue rose. I never saw a rose in the ocean. Bye! Maybe the moon gave her the rose because he loves her. An old story. Their faces look familiar, but I'm not sure. Could it be? This is not my cup. Delicious and beautiful. My mouth is melting. I am so hungry. Nobody will notice if one cupcake is gone. That cake looks absolutely yummy. I could eat the whole thing. Chocolate cake! My favorite! Should I? Maybe just a little. Mmm, delicious. Sweet candy. Caramel sauce all over it. Sugar and many colors. The teapot has no tea at all. Oh, no, 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 don't go up there yet. A vase to put flowers in. It has ashes inside. Is that a flying pig? I wonder if any friendly animal would like to fly with us. That would be a new experience. Not that I don't have any. Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. It didn't want to get its head fixed. It wanted its head on the wall. Silly me. Cozy and warm. I could burn things here. Things that I don't need. But you never know when I'll need some things. Firewood in line to be burnt. Hello? Who are you? Can't you hear me? I'm Fran. My goodness, the smell. Poor girl. Who could have done this and why? I need to be careful and protect my kitty and myself. Huh? Wait a minute, is that the big ant from the woods? It could be him, only a bit younger. Jance, I think I saw his name earlier. Antonio the Greatest. The Blueberry Tree, Volume 2. Oh, a record player. I wonder if it works. Let's see. Oh, there, it works. Maybe I should keep, well, let's. Turn it on for a second. Oh, a typewriter, and it works. I guess I could write, but there's no paper. No good writer has to know what to write about first. There are many books and things on the shelf. So many things it makes me dizzy. I'll just leave it there. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Both are curious, both like to kill mice, and both are good companions of witches. Hello, creaking scary noises. Many tiny paintings. And there is a cat. When I grow up, I will have lots of cat paintings on my walls. And other things too, but I'm not grown up yet. Okay, I guess I got that now. A broom, broom to fly away, or just clean up. A monster who likes goats. The goat looks angry. I guess he is ticklish, or annoyed. The sisters, they look alike. Pink and blue, complete opposites. The drawer opened. Black candles to light up the darkness. Alrighty then. Red rose in a painting. Huh. Oh, a ladder. Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. A mirror. But why is my reflection not there? Hello? 
Huh. This mirror doesn't do its job. It has a little keyhole. Maybe it's just a core. Ugh, it's that monster. And so much blood. I guess I'm not the only one who can see him then. Is he holding a head? I have to be careful. White candles everywhere. This looks like a very old painting. A mommy holding two babies. I wonder. I wonder what the deal is with the doll heads and roses. I guess I'll figure it out someday. Dolls are like hollow humans. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. And Grace has been... has for sure... I love the feeling of my sleepy head on a clean pillow. And Grace has for sure put some new sheets. These toys are so ugly. I hope they didn't hear me. I don't want them trying to catch and kill me. Hello, doll. Who caught you? I hope this never happens to me. I guess it doesn't need to happen if I'm clever enough. Mm, the perfume smells like teenagers. Nice stuff. Very girly. I guess I'll be very girly when I grow up. T Tweezers? Okay. Hi. The stairs end up in a wall. Maybe that was the door I made and now it disappeared. I'll have to find another way out. Okay. Oh, I see. You have it comfortable. I see you have it comfortable there, little baby. Did your mommy drop you? I bet she did it because she was sick. It's not your fault. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? You are a clever little baby. You took your, your placenta with you. The placenta is like a jet pack, jet pack of blood and nutrients. Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? Nobody loves you, but you're so pretty. I like you. At least you're on the wall like a picture so everybody can see you. A secret bottle with a secret inside. I'm very curious right now. What could it be? It looks stable, let's see. Nope. And the game trolls. Huh, bad piece of broom. Bad, bad. Cool, okay. Mr. Rad, it's time to get up. I met another rat a while ago. Mr. Rad, are you tired, sir? Hmm. The toys in the attic always carry sadness within them. It's very understandable. I wouldn't like to be abandoned in the attic. A lot of tiny stuff. Is that an angel's head? Weird stuff you can find in an attic. I like my own dress, but those are pretty too. I guess I don't need them. I hope nobody is behind that mask. A dusty mirror and some other things. I won't put my hands inside the box. There must be like a thousand spiders in there. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. Why are you sitting here? There are many dolls to play with, but I wouldn't play with any of them. They look scary. Oh, let's see this. The sisters. They have the same jacket that I had in the hospital. But if they are the sisters, why are they so old? Just one hat. 
A scorpion? Scorpions make me nervous. They walk with their butt in the air, ready to stab you. Maybe it's a zodiac thing? I'm a Sagittarius. Foxy? Oh no, I wish I could take you out of here. What is their problem? Poor Foxy Fox. Hope someday I find a fox that isn't dead so I can talk to it. Well, hello, little babies. Who sewed you two together? It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, all right? You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. A bunny doll? Are you waiting for Easter? Do you lay eggs or do you steal them from a chicken? And how do eggs become chocolate eggs? So much to ask you. I wish you could answer me. Those shoes are too big for me. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Kitty? Wow. Mr. Midnight, don't be scared. I'm here for you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh, my dear, I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine to find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human. But it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Friend, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you. All right? I love you. Go on, friend. Please get me out of this cage. Find the key. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Friend Bo. That's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? You're scaring me. How can you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but mommy and daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really I need to know. Who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little friend? A little, 
It's odd the way I came here, and this conversation makes me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Mipping. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage. Hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I'm not calm. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm not a rude person. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He is my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place, a very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah. Uh, Ah, oh, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Oh, and I saw a flying insects that got stuck in a tree because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten years old, but I have to turn eleven soon. And you? We are 16 years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes! Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Hello, Toxic, how are you? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself. We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is it that you were like this now? One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. Do you now? He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. It sounds fair to me. I'll be waiting for you. And Fran, do you see this key? Bye. Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? Let's see. 
Lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Oh, what should I do? I refuse to do this. It can't be a good thing. Maybe there is something else I can do. Oh, what should I do? Um, let's see. Oh, friend, did you get the key already? No, my dear, I'm sorry. Those girls are scary. They just want to utilize me. They cut hair from me and took some of bl some blood. Oh, my dear. I think they're witches. Wicked witches. You know, like in the stories we like to read. Witches or no witches, we will find a way to get you out of here. I don't know, Fran. What did those girls tell you? They told me they weren't attached to each other before, and that they will get revenge against the one who did this to them. And they also showed me a key. I'm pretty sure it's for this cage. They have the evil inside. I mean, maybe that someone had its reasons. I guess we have to fight evil with evil. There must be something. Something that they are really afraid of. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. See you soon, my dearest. Um, I guess we can start the ritual. It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Nope, that's outside. I don't think it would take me very far. There is nothing but water around this house. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. Hey, you. Yes, who's speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. What is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here, then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh. Creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, we need to go to the sink first. Boss first. Ooh. 
Water, water in the pot, ready to cook. Oh, I guess we have to turn it on first. There we go. Mm. Actually, <laughs> Lurk command. I'm not sure where we find something different to write for the recipe. I don't remember. Actually, no, I, I remember. Um, we need to go. Yep, we need this. That's what I forgot. A long woody plank. I could do something with it. And then... Now we can go up. With something that won't break like the berm did. Boop. There we go. And I have already done this before, but if you use the mash matches instead of a knife, you get an achievement for burning things. I burn you, ha ha ha. Hey. Oh, well, oh, that burned. Why? There was no fire. Um, baking soda. Oh, tweezers. There we go. Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life, and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the ex executor of the ritual, five black candles, ashes to form a pentagram, a blue... Excuse me. A blue bloomed moonlight rose, salt and pepper, hair from the person you want to be witch. Draw a pentagram with the ashes, blah blah blah. Okay. Um There's moonlight there. You are so beautiful and calm. I always feel like the moon is following me. I wonder if the moonlight does the same job as sunlight. I don't know where the fuck this weird fucking thing is. Boop. Oh, this is a really nice blue rose. Alright. And now... We need hair and blood. So... Let's stab ourselves, apparently. 
Now I have my blood. And I think... Alright, and now we can change the recipe. Hair from your head. Um, I fucking saw that. Oh, I guess I should. Oh, they're there. Never mind. Friend, here are the materials you need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you are ready. Okay, I am actually going to take a very quick break. Uh, act well, let's do this real quick. Psst, girl, I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I could do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Okay, thanks. Nope, okay. So real quick, break.
And we're back. On time this time. Okay. Nope, we don't want to. There we go. Um. God, nope, nope, that's. I should remember that I only really need to click. We are waiting for you, friend. Oh, I need to show. Okay. Show them. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There is no hair needed. We know that. But look for yourself. It's written down there in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. I think that was the last thing we needed. Yes. Okay. Blood. Rose, salt and pepper hair. Blood. Rose. Salt and pepper. Hair. And do we have to draw it first? No. Oh, the ashes first. There we go. And then candles. Lead, candles, ashes, uh, and then we light them. I should show the girls the potion is ready. Okay. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good. Let's go. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. say the words. Wait a second, that is not the right spell. You tricked us. I done? Oh my goodness, this is not right. The key. I can now free my kitty. I'm nervous. I think my stomach just growled and hopefully the mic didn't pick that up. What is it, friend? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Yes, I saw one. I'll see if it fits there. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. The key was for this keyhole. And what's that? A puzzle? Oh, God. 
<sighs> okay. I fucking hate these. I don't remember how to do it. Really? That one doesn't go... Ah, shit. That needs to go there. Shit. I might just end up fucking looking this up, cause... Seriously, fuck these. I'm looking this up, cause fuck it. Um... Something happened! What happened? Hi, Ray. Thank you for the host. You joined me at a great time because I'm currently looking up how to do a puzzle. Because I fucking hate these puzzles. yelling. Did I break your headphones? Hi, Cupcake Therapy. Okay. I was worried because, um, like, I had just, not just, because this was much earlier, um, but I was adjusting my sound because I noticed on the VODs that the sound was too low. Not super low, but lower than I wanted it to be. So I turned everything up, and now I'm really paranoid that everything is too loud. But the couple people have, who have been in here have said it's fine, so I don't know. Um, okay. Puzzle solution. Save me. 
save me from this. I'm watching a video while I do this. Come on. I'm gonna try and follow along without fucking it up. This is super exciting, right? Yeah. Oh god, they're going too fast. Oh no. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. We're fine. Now they're hesitating. Still hesitating. I really fucking hate these puzzles. Click it. Ah! You'd think after I'd already seen this done that I would remember it, but no. They hesit they're hesitating again. And I'm not looking at chat because I'm doing this and paying attention to the video. And also my nose is itchy. Thrilling gameplay. Do 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 do. They keep pausing. Take it. Okay, cool. No, I think it's just... Wait, nope, that's not what they did. Fuck. Wait, shit. Okay, yeah, this way. There we go. Pull back the things. Everything is fine, we did it. What is this, two skeletons? They're kind of small like me. I can't imagine who these two were. Then I'm not a killer. Oh dear, this must be the key to the cage. Finally. Pearls, I guess from a broken necklace? Mother must die. Ooh. Maybe that mommy wasn't a good mommy at all. My mommy was very good. She hugged me many times. Duotine? My pills are called duotine too. But they got the yellow ones. I wonder what's the difference. Oh, two-headed doll. It must be a really old doll, but also quite dirty. I guess it's because they played a lot with it? My toys are also a bit dirty. I miss playing with my dollhouse. The sisters have a huge scar in the middle. That's scary. Maybe they were two different persons after all. The bed and the floor look so familiar. A pink rosette. Pretty hair decoration. That's a blue rosette. I like it very much. Shiny stuff. It looks like a necklace. Who's it word? These girls are very strange. I wonder why they hated each other so much. Sister Promise. We, Clara and Mia Bahalmet, promise to revenge the unfair destiny if we're decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other, and we all will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever, and the weakest will die. Do, do, do. 
I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty, it worked. Come out, let me hug you. Mr. Midnight. Oh, hey, Ray, 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 guess what, Ray. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. <laughs> Very excited about my email. Yes, let's go. Oh, wait. Nope, that's not what I wanted to look at. I want to look at this. Oh, a sleepy doll. Would you please sing for me? You don't want to? Well, that's okay. I can sing for myself. So... Nope. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. <laughs> Why don't you feel safe, Rexus? It's Rabies, the Trash King! Banana shoes. You just gonna... Gonna try all the emotes? Or not the emotes, the commands now? I mean, that's totally cool if you want to do that. That's, that's why I put them there. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get there? There is no boat. I thought you could help us out get out of here. I would love to help, but I'm too tiny. <laughs> Fair enough. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Baking soda. Shit. Take this toad. It may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you were all slimy and soft like dough. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. It worked. It really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great. Let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, friend. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. <laughs> we'll do it now. Unlurk. Unlurk. Welcome back. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. All right. If he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl. Before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. And this book was with it, too. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever. But the book is not mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. <laughs> Mr. Midnight looks so cute. Look at him.
Oh god, we have to play Frogger. This music though, huh? I mean, I could skip it, but I don't wanna. Why is my nose so itchy? Okay, um... Nope, that's not the right button. Fuck. <laughs> it's fine. Totally fine. Oh, come on. Here we go. Nope, that's... Fuck. I guess I click. I was pushing buttons instead of clicking. Help me across. Ah, ah. There we go. Ah, fuck. Nope. Oh, maybe. Ah, oh, come on. No. Yay. Ah, oh, come on. Shouldn't be looking at chat when I'm trying to do this. There we go. Fuck's sake. No! I was, I was hoping he would go backwards, but I guess not. Give me a thing! Give me a thing! Did we do it? Did we victory? We did victory! Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty! Mr. Midnight is so cute! Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Friend, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Oh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find a way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Oh, kitty. What will be the first thing you do when we get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. And you? <laughs> I think I would like the same. Don't lick yourself. It's not appropriate. My tummy is rumbling. Can you hear it? I think I heard it through my headphones. Wait, let's... Before we move on... That's lovely. Oh dear, a baby skeleton. I guess I didn't make it in time. Good night and sweet dreams. Sir, are you the curious insects that got stuck? They are sleeping. Maybe they are not stuck. Well, I hope they have their hair comb. Okay. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, friend, come on, we have to go home. There is no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, all right? Then you follow me. All right, kitty. You are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. I love how she does this, because I do the same thing.
friend. Wait. Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. Alright, here I go. I got you. Friend, no! Don't be afraid, friend. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here? Please. You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. <laughs> and Grace, no, please, don't go. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. was my wrist popping, if you could hear that. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? Now I'm Mr. Midnight. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. The little paw. One of Fran's shoes. These are Fran's stockings. Well, if you heard a, a popping noise right, right before I said that, yes, that was my wrist popping. Friend Shu. Ah, oh, what an ugly tree. I'll scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Friend? My darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would it be? Friend, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? <laughs> I don't know if I can get my other... Nope, my other wrist won't pop. But yeah, I usually just... And also, like, this. Well, it's not doing it now. That one did it, though. I'm really bad about doing that. I'm sorry if that bothers you. I can't help it. I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope you won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night, Mom and Dad died. I'm not sure what that is in chat. It kind of looks like a squid to me, but hello. Welcome. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. 
Oh, it is a squid? Okay. That's actually really adorable. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm not going to try and pronounce this weird fucking language. So, sorry. They're angry, shouting vegetables. Oh, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Stop it. I'll scratch you. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty. Why is this happening to us? Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, friend. Boop. Did you find my purse already? I think this creature wants to- these- this creature? Whatever. This creature wants to kill me. Where is the purse? I have no idea. Do you remember my mother's purse? Well, that one. I'll find it, my dear. I'll be right back. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. I can't really understand what you were saying. This is a wooden boat. An old vegetable sitting in a boat. On a boat. He's got it in his mouth. It's so cute. I'll take this. And then... Boop. And now I can't move. I got the purse. Only because I'm the best. I like how this bloody knife is just still here in my purse. Random noises! Huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. This is where things get really fucking weird. Chapter 3. Vegetative State. Random noises. Noises, noises, noises. Welcome, creature. My name is Yar. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Rudd told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you were one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Help me, please. I'm a girl. Oh, no need to speak, my child. A seed will show me everything. Totally normal. It's fine. Just eat a little piece off me. It's cool. This, this is fine. Hmm, let me see. Oh, I thought he was gonna eat it. I don't know why. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fren. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. Can you see all that in a seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. 
What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You were not supposed to be here, friend. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back, I implore you. Uh, I have a question. Are you the king? <laughs> you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithursta. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are very pretty. They are pretty. King, sir, please. Will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir, but the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. You. Sure, okay. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that, I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. This is normal. It's totally normal. Everything is fine and awesome. Good day. My name is Palantris, and I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. 
The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Velikus, Velakus created it. It is the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Who is the great Velakus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly. His heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to Athirsta, and his blood made the water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you were here? What brought you to Athirsta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again. But then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes. Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, but Palantris, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you traveled to Athirsta, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door opened, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice. And you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you are very special. But let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Mm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran from Athirsta? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix almost anything. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean? Fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had. And you are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dearn. But he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Here we are again. Shows Yara the King what a nice Ithirsti- 
a Thurstonese you've become? Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. I'm a naked tree. Naked tree. <laughs> you fluffy kitty. Ah, oh, do you like that? Here I am. Friend, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great other Sunnis you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. Well, thanks for hanging out, Rexus. I hope you have a good night. He made magic with the water, but he was sad. He had told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Plantris will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, this great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, friend. The Great Wizard lives in the Great Mountain, Cotrim. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we didn't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys? And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around, follow the signs. I have to go now, but I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great thirst today, and good luck finding the Great Wizard. Okay, bye. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature, Kitty? That's Pilatris. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, thank you, Kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they are on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes? Um, well, we have other things to do anyway. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain Cotrum. The great wizard lives there. There. Let's go. The throne of the king. I wonder if it's comfortable. I wonder why kings are always sitting. Maybe that's the only truth. To be a king, you must be seated. Oh, these flowers are huge. I wonder if they taste good. Mmm, it tastes like honey. Why would you just fucking eat a random flower? Oh, I love paper swirls. These things are huge. I wonder why they have them. Maybe the wind requires them to show how strong it is. Mmm... -hmm. No? Okay. What's up, beetle dude? No, no, you can't get in. It's closed. Oh, closed? I didn't know. What's behind this passage? Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back and follow winter, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantris? Yes, that's me. Palantris gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Aetherstha, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. 
And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh, so you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in Nithursta. I guess you are not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Oh, I see many clouds. Are those flying boats? But how? Maybe I'm imagining things. Or not. Hmm, excuse me. It almost feels like I could fly. I wish I could bring Mommy and Daddy here. They would love it. Stop licking yourself. Hmm, the flag is waving very hard. Hello to you. Oh wow, I don't understand. It's the tree symbol, but I wonder what it says. I can always ask. Hello, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> Are you a guard? Yes. Oh, I see. Do you know where Mount Cotram is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me please. The Mount Cotram is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Mm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't have to wait for it. You go there. Go? But how? Oh, sorry, but I'm no good explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You find a clockmaker, he can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. All right, thank you, sir. Big tree. I think that's the castle. That's Plantris's home. A mountain. I wonder if it reads a thirsta there. It must be. A boat. The beautiful paper swirls. An island? Oh, that is a very little island. Okay. There's nothing interesting there. Can I look at the fish? Oh, so many fish. They seem to be in a hurry. Where are you all going? Are you going home? I wish I could go home too. Oh, wait. Oh, let's look at the... That seems to be the way to the market. That's the way to the castle and the library. Mountain, a tree, and a little water. Must be the woods. This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Well, I guess time works differently here in Ethersta. Mm, there's nothing it can do here. Huh, I would like to borrow that boat. Wow, the lake's water is very clear. I wonder why there is no fish there. Maybe they just don't like this water. Oh, a basket. It's empty. I can't just take it. It's not mine. It's pretty, though. Hello. Good day, living creature. Are you all good? Yes, I'm fine. 
What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Hmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? They are a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons for the customers of the bar, you know? And we put some other stuff inside too, so we can fly. Fly? Wow. I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that is why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the ball bar opens in fall, and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. I recognize this kind of tree, and Grace had one at home. It's a lemon tree. They are very del delicate. And Grace's tree got very sad in winter time. Huh. A sleepy tree. Good night. It shows a mountain. It's nothing here but trees and flowers. This mountain top is very high because it's the top. I wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. I guess it would sound very loud, like an earthquake. Oh, that paper swirl is huge. Oh, I wonder what this is. It looks like a tropical party place. I hope they open it soon. Like the party is about to start or something. Or maybe the prices of the drinks you can buy. Hi. Oh wow, what are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material. We are Velakis. Oh, you are very shiny and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature, one of the young Velakas will receive the shield. Loud noises. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh? Where are you all going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir, or miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back on you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. But... Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep going. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Alrighty then. Mm, I don't want to yawn.
It's a good day for good fabric and thread. I am at your service. Good thread and cloth to make stuff. And buttons. There's a lot of fabric in the box, but I'm sure they don't use it to make clothes. They are all naked, but they are pretty, so it's okay. Oh, what a tiny shop. And it smells really funny. Hello. Uh, who's this? Who is there? Who? Me, Fran. Can't you see me? Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. Four eyes? I don't have... Um, what are you selling? Only the very best plobus in of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? Ah, my nose is itchy. Sure, they look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. <laughs> I have to get going now. Good luck with your plobus. Bye. Oh, that piece of metal looks grand. Maybe it's called heavy metal. Because it's heavy and it's metal. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day, I'm Pruter and I'm molding this piece of iron. Oh? What for? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, I see. So you can do all kinds of metallic stuff? Sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them and pa I do it. That's very good to know. Why, thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Mmm, fresh and juicy pineapples. The ladybug has really huge melons. They look juicy. Baby roots, you're gonna get eaten. Huh, oranges give me a headache. A bench to sit on when you're old and want to feed the birds. Or just because you're tired, but I'm not. Because I'm very young. Oh, to carry heavy things. Hello, miss. I think you have beautiful fruits. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Oh, no. I'm on a mission to go back home, and I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so from what part of Athirsta are you? Are you from outside the island? No, I'm not from Athirsta at all. I'm a human. Oh, a human. That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See you. Hello. Well, what are you doing? Hmm. Working on my clock. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Do you know where the mountain coachroom is? The mountain coachroom only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in mountain co coachroom. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Oh, a layered reality? That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Well, where's the clock? Well, go towards the castle but turn to your castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You are very nice. Bye. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read a thirst 
Um, what is the fish this language called? Don't you know? It's called Ethernish. Are you a tourist? <laughs> yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to Ethersta. I hope you will have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. Oh, it's Ethersta newspaper. How beautiful. It looks like they only have they have only good news. Pictures are nice. I like the baby seed. Hello, little root. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute, too. I'm Fred. And you? Me? No, I'm not Fred. I'm Zelma. And I want to sing all day long. And what's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one are two. One and two are three. Two and three are five. And three and five are eight. And I don't remember any more than that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. My pants are being weird, sorry. Fixing my pants leg, it's fine. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. Mmm, delicious fruits and veggies. They all look so tasty and fabulous. Maybe Aunt Grace can make a soup when I'm back home. A boat is ready to depart. Up and beyond. Hello? Is anybody there? I guess not. Maybe Kitty and I can hide there if a monster comes back. I hope he doesn't come back at all. A lot of wood. Maybe they, become, they will become a boat someday. That looks like a spider. Many legs crawling in my spine. This must be, these must be extraordinary boats with special abilities. I wish I could fly back home with one of these, but I guess I can't. I don't have superpowers. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I've seen flying, flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating in water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Sadly, these boats only work in a thirst with a thirst and ease. Huh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Oh, tiny figures, black and white. Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. Huh? What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin, if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? Stop licking yourself. The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas and I am the Vlachis. Black and white, as shadows and light. Is this sort of a board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win, huh? What do you say? Yes, sure. What are the words? Uh, rules. First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Sure, it sounds like a game we used to play called Tic-Tac-Toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I am very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Mm. 
Oh, I'm stupid. Yep. My foot is itchy. Okay, that's enough. I just wanted one. Very well done, little creature. You are a master. Not really, no. Um. Oh, it sounds like something broke. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but how does it work? I don't know, maybe I can ask for help. I guess now we go back to the clockmaker. Sir, I have a little problem. Yes, I don't have any. The big clock on the tree, it's broken. I can't make it work. Please help me. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you, I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing, otherwise my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. Here, sir, your golden coin. Oh, yes. You have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it, and be polite. Oh, sir clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold, and in the name of, uh, time, I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course. That is an incredible, incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. You walk really weird. You were right, the clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Hmm, yes, hmm, oh, there. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immortal, breaking a defenseless clock. Why would somebody break it? Kamalas, Winter, Mountain Kotram, the Stones, many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamalas, the evil darkness, they work for Rimor, the terrible black. And Kamalas are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Rimor wants the stones, but what I don't understand 
is for what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom, and the stones are in winter time. Is Remor a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes, you, you know him? Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human? Now I understand. I also need the stones. They are my... They are my way back home. I hope it's not too late. <coughs> Sorry. Aha! That is why you need to go into wintertime and go to Mountain Cultrum. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here! It's a remote control for the Glock. You'll be able to travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you are too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful, thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please, call me Cogwind. All right, Mr. Cogwind, I'm friend, by the way. See you soon, bye. Cool. Hmm, I guess we can go ahead and go to the mountain? Wait, was the mountain this way? Nope. I don't remember. Okay, here we go. Hello. Two big empty bottles, that's what they are. Hello, Mr. Clothes Hanger. You have no clothes on you. I think everybody in Aethersta likes to go around naked. I'm naked too, but it's okay. I'm not freezing. I don't understand it, but I recognize some of the symbols. Plus, minus, multiplication, and other things. It must be some mathematical stuff. The great wizard is making something here. I wonder what. Maybe it's just soup. It smells lovely, like blueberries. Mm. Spicy stuff. My stomach always gets lots of gas when I eat spicy stuff. But it's a funny feeling. I wonder what's in those bottles. It could be chocolate sauce or milk. Maybe other things like poison. You never know. I see a human skull. Hello. I'm not the only human here. But maybe that human never found the way back home. I'm in big trouble. I don't understand. But I'm in another reality, so it's okay. I can't waste time trying to understand things I can't. I should learn more about my own beautiful world. Ah, coal. I used to draw stuff on the driveway with coal. It's also used to burn it. Did I misread that? I don't know. Nope, nope, don't want to go out. Stuff to do magic with, I guess. That is not being used. What a lovely rabbit. I wonder if the wizard sewed it. He did a good job. I'll try to do my own when I get back home. A magician's hat. I wonder whose hat it is. I have seen that skeleton in a top hat before. Maybe it's his. Maybe that skeleton is a magician. I don't really understand this experiment. It smells like cooked milk. Hmm, it must be something really complicated. An abacus made to solve ma mathematical problems. What if you want to count to more than 100? I guess you have to own more than one abacus. Oh 
Okay. <clears throat> oh, are you the great wizard, sir? Sorry, sir. I'm Fran, and I need your help. Is this Mountain Gotram? Excuse me. Can you talk? You have too many questions. That's good. Oh, sorry, sir. The king told me you could help me. But the king says we do. Mm-hmm. I need you to lend me the stones to open the door to my world. The stones are missing, and I, I don't remember where they are. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget, so they can't be found. They? You mean the Black Shadow, sir? I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does this rabbit do it? I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How? This is the greatest question of them all. Because if nothing exists, then the nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I wonder again, how? Excuse me. Sir, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the Great Wizard? That means me, just so you know. Good day, sir. The king sent me here for the stones. Ah, the stones. It's been a long time since somebody came around asking for those. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. You know, the black shadows, the Kamalas? They try to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. The king told me that the stones would open a door to go home. Mmm, the stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only when all four riddles, riddles are answered correctly, I will be able to tell you where to find the five items. Though these items are the stones in their layer of reality. Gosh, I've only been going for almost four. It feels like longer. Sorry, just readjusting in my chair. Don't mind me, it's fine. These items are the stones in their layer of reality. Then, the only one who can bring them back is me. I see. Well, tell me the riddles. There is no time to lose. Let me show you. This is the Star of Athirsta, the greatest guide of the sky, the greatest caretaker of this land. Oh wow, that sounds great. I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Place the item in the Star of Athirsta on the respective symbol. After that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. Oh, thank you very much, Sir Wizard. Oh, Sir Wizard, the king told me that you could make me human again. Did he? Mm, I think that's true. I barely remember how to do it, though. You don't remember, but I can't go home like a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try to make you a human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great. Just try to figure out the riddles, and I guess everything will be fine. Sir, do I need something special to become a human? Mm, I think the smell is very important, if I remember correctly. So bring me your clothes, and we'll see how it goes. Can you explain the riddles again? No, I know, I know, I know, it's fine. No, it's fine. Rabbit science is waiting for me. Um... Oh, shit. Well, that looked really fucking bad. 
Oh, Kitty, did you see that? Did you? Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? I, I think it's the shadows. Oh, dear, I don't want to see them again. Again? Yes, Kitty. They were all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. We will go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise? That whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Of course, my dear, I promise. Great, now we have to keep on going. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I hold on. There we go. I need you. Oh, the flower is beautiful. It's so different from the rest. I should also have horns to thorns to harm eagle monsters. Wait, can I not take it? Do I have to cut it? There we go. It's like warm love. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Hello, sir. I don't have a ticket. How can I get one? What? All the thirsty citizens get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? Oh, I'm not a citizen, sir. Maybe that's why. Not a citizen? That's new. Too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady. I can't let you in. All right, sir, I understand, but what can I do then? I really would like to go outside. I don't know. This has never happened before. Hmm. I guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you. Bye. I thought I could open that back there. Um... I think... Kitty, I'm going to do something so act natural. It's fine. Well, the basket won't carry all the lemons now. So now, I go to when he's walking away, and I can get a lemon. Hey, thanks, lemon. Oh, an accidentally dropped lemon. I think I'll keep it. Oh no. Plantris? Plantris, sir? Wait, don't go. Oh no, he looked really bad, Kitty. Wasn't that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, Kitty. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. I hope he gets better soon. Oh, well, right time to take the boat now, I guess. We are going for a ride. Oh, friend, this is where we were before. I fixed the bridge to get your purse. Wow, Kitty, you are very clever. I hope we find my things. Q, 
Kitty, I can't find my pills. Maybe the pills are not here. Maybe you lost them. Well, they weren't doing me any good anyways. Maybe they will appear someday. Let's keep going now. Yes, I found you, dear clothes. Come to your one and only something. Oh, that must be the castle. It looks like a pineapple from here. I wonder if it tastes like one, too. I guess that was the only thing to do here. Can I take this? Nope. Okay. I think I need this. Yes. But it seems to be broken. Come closer, friend. I have the one thing you desire. I have what you were looking for. Mommy? Is that you, Mommy? My beloved daughter. Come closer. Let me feel you. Mommy, I'm scared. There is nothing to be afraid of. You have to come closer, friend. I want to kiss you. But you can't be my mother. She is dead. You have to come closer. Now. If you don't, the big monster will come and get you. No. You're not my mommy. Leave me alone. My darling. The big monster will come and get you. He will come and get you. He will come and get you. Mommy, you're scaring me. Mommy, stop it, please. Okie dokie. I don't know if there's anything else up here that I actually need. password. The library password, of course. You must have it to come inside. I didn't know I needed a password. Of course you need a password. A certain wizard can help you. Alright, I'll see if I can find the password then. Bye. Thread. Um, can I have? Can I have? Can, um, can you fix this? Hello, miss. I'm wondering if you have some thread for, for thr fishing line. Do you? Fishing line? Thread? Yes, yes, I have some. Do you want it? Oh, yes. How much is it? Well, quite a lot. Is that good? Oh, I meant price-wise, miss. I only need enough for fishing line. Oh, I forgot to think about a price. You see, I've never sold anything before. But you know what? You can have it. I hope it makes you happy. Oh, wow. Thank you, miss. I hope you sell some prices and sell something soon. Bye. Nope, nope, nope. Combine. So now I need a lure of some kind. Or not a lure, a hook. Mm. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Just seeing if anything changes.
Even the thought of walking on it makes me nervous. Alright, so... I'm actually going to take a quick break. And we'll be right back.
I return. Okay. Probably just going to go for a little while longer. Because it is getting warm in my room and I unfortunately can't turn on the air. Because it's very, very loud. And that would probably not be good. Um... Well, I guess I can't go out there when it's frozen. But that would be pretty cool if it did. Hmm, I don't have any need to climb that ladder. Okay. I could have sworn this thing had a thing. Maybe not. Let's... Um... Match? Lemon... Fish, which we can't get yet. And a feather, which we have. I swear I thought I could go in there, but I guess not. Um, up here is the mountain. I guess we'll just go ahead and put in some of these. So, the single line is the match. Line with a dot is the lemon. Oh. Um. The three dots is the feather. I still need a hook or something. See if I can go ahead and give him these. Oh, smelly clothes. I can't make a human net yet. We have to find the first stone. Okay. Wait. I don't know. Anyway. I thought I could talk to you. Why can't I talk to you? Alright. So you need to send the kitty in there, but I don't know how because it won't let me. I need a fish. Mm. Pretty sure nothing I have will work as a fishing hook. Oh, give it to you to fix it. That's not no, I wanted to give it to this person. Sir, look, I found a fishing rod, but it's broken. Can you help me? Let me see. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that goes with this rod? Huh? You just said the exact same thing someone else did back in the hospital. Really? Who? What hospital? The Oswald Asylum, sir. The nurse, when I broke the curtain. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. You're quite strange. 
Well, let's forget about it. Can you please make me a hook for the fishing rod? Ah, crap, I need a coin. So we have to play the thing again. Alright, let's do it. Do, 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 do. This is super exciting, right? Why would you waste it there? fall asleep. Finally. 
Let me out of this nightmare. Sir, please, can you give a discount? Two coins are almost three. He said two. He, like, said multiple. Okay, whatever. Hurry up. Yes, one more time. Come on. Yes, let's go. Three coins to put in your butt. Thank you. Have to go now, bye. There we go. Now I can go get a fix. The fish extractor. Give me a fish. I got the fish. Oh, I caught a fish. I'm very sorry. Alright, let's go. Back to the mountain. Put this. Shit, nope. I smell victory. I smell delicious victory. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. <laughs> yes. We'll start with fire. Kotrim has awakened. Kotrim is alive. On the top of the mountain, he will be waiting for you. He has my lovely wizard hat. Your hat? Yes, the stones are hiding in my wizard tool. That's why I can't remember a thing. But now I'm remembering. Go to the top of the mountain and find Godrum. And come back when you have that hat. I'll bring you the hat, I guess. I'm gonna talk to this fucking guy. Who dares to wake me up? Who? Mm. Oh my goodness, you are alive. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. I'm Fran. Fran? I see. I don't know what that means. Well, I don't really know what it means. It's just my name. Oh, all right. Mine is Kodrum. Do you want to know why? Sure, tell me. 
Culture means born in heaven. I used to be a star. And because I was born in space, it's very logical. Oh, wow. I've never met a star in person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, friend. So what brings you here? The great wizard told me to get that hat. So if you don't mind... I can't do that. I'm divorced. What do you mean, divorced? I just need the hat, sir. It's very important. I can't. If I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. You'll have to find another way to get home. The king told me there's no other way. Please help me. I told you. I can't. My wife left me. She was the one covering my top. If I take off the hat, my magma can erupt and kill everyone, including you. Where is your wife now? Maybe I can make her come back. She... She decided that it was time for her to start her own island, so she broke up with me. I didn't get the chance to ask her why. I miss her so much. Oh, so now she is her own island? Do you know where she is? I think she's on the water, otherwise I would very strongly feel her presence, but I don't. Oh, my love, my beloved wife. I'll go and see if I can find her, alright? Then you give me the hat. Only if she comes back. Otherwise, you know what can happen. Can't I put something else on top of your head, sir? Like a rock or something instead? No, I like this hat. Alright, I'll be back. I know you are all alone. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you. Come to my side. And you will have many new friends to play with. I don't want you as my mommy. You look very scary and I don't like you. Friend, who are you talking to? The woman's de- uh, Nothing, kitty. Totally normal. Alright, so... Oh shit, was it not here? Aha, it was here. Hello, miss. Wake up, I have a message for you. Oh, hello, a messenger. What a good day. Yes, miss, I'm the messenger of love. Love? Oh, but you are not pink. Pink? No, I'm the brown and green love messenger. Hmm, and does the messenger of love have something to share? Yes, of course, I'm here in the name of love to bring you back to your husband. No. He made me very sad. Nobody has the right to make me sad. Well, maybe he didn't mean to harm you. What did he do? He was so hot, I fell in love with that. But lately, he was cold and boring, so I felt left aside. I cried so many times. He used to grow a big, beautiful red flower just for me, to show his love for me. But this year, nothing came up. And you know what? I am the one protecting him all the time. So I want some credit for that, that's all. But miss, if I find the flower for you, would you come back? I guess, but I have no hope. Besides, I'm the ruler of my own island now. I'll go and see if I can find the red flower. Do you know where it grows? Always at the bottom. It's very different from all other flowers. <laughs> Poor Mr. Midnight looks so distressed and startled by what is happening right now. Look at his little face. The bottom of what, miss? My husband's bottom, of course. Bring it to me and I shall return to him. Oh, you mean this? Miss, I found it. Look, look, the red flower. Oh, thank you so much. It looks beautiful. You're indeed a great messenger of love. Thank you, miss. I shall go back to your husband right away. He really misses you. 
I'll see you there in winter time. Excuse me while I just walk back to the, uh, yeah. Okay, bye. Nice to see you two together. Now, I would like to have the hat, please. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Come on, my darling. Climb up to, onto the top. That's not awkward. And here's the hat. Thank you again. Yay. Wow, thank you, sir. I have to go and give the hat to the great wizard now. Bye. Here's your thing. Here's your hat, sir. Oh, my hat. I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. I feel happy. That's great, sir. What's next? The gift from the soil. The fruit. The creation of selective random elements so we can eat. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it's incredible. Yes, the fruit is talking to me now. It says that the book, my book of knowledge, it's in the library. But where? The book may be hiding. So you have to be persistent and patient. Good, sir. I'll go to the library then. Wait, there's a password you'll need to get inside. Let me think. I think it must be something about how we learn. Um, I remember. The password is, your basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. Oh, I'll try to remember that. What does it mean? It means that many times we let our understanding be manipulated. We should always try to use our common sense. Nobody should ever tell you what to think or believe. Be hungry for knowledge and you'll find yourself in constant evolution. That will make you free to cherish every second of your life. Oh, well, I think it's very fun to think and learn, and being curious helps a lot. I'll go to the library now to find your book. Okay. Nope, that's not where I wanted to go. No creepy visions this time. Oh, good. Do you remember, friend? You're a murderer. You are a nutty little girl. Nutty girls must be punished. Do as I say. Do as I do, friend. Jump. I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. Oh, my dear, don't listen to those evil things. You're strong. Let them out of your head, my dear. My crazy kitty, tell me. No, my dear, you just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, my kitty, I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear, I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. I love you too, my dear. We should keep on going now. Let's go to the library. I want to look at the snowman. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Are you having fun? It's a little cold. You want to go inside? Maybe he can't hear me because he has no ears. Do you have the password? Yes. What is the password? That we remember the words. Your eyes and ears are limited center sensors. Shut them down before learning. Hmm, good. And why is that? Because only then we can really see. It's like this city. It was invisible to me before. Knowledge is everywhere, even in darkness and silence. You can come inside. Have fun.
Hello. What are you reading? A book with many letters. Sometimes I think some letters look very scary. Maybe you should read something with many pictures instead. Oh, yes, some other day, dear. Now, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Hello, S sir. What are you doing? Uh, I'm looking for my special book. Oh, sorry to ask, but why are you standing on the ladder? You have wings. Because the mat ladder was made to be used, of course. But what if I need to use it? Then you should wait your turn. But what if it's an emergency and I can't wait? Then you should have arrived earlier than me. Sorry, but I have to keep looking. Blah, blah, blah. So many books. I don't think the Great Wizard book is on the shelf. Mr. Midnight, what are you doing? Let's talk to this weird carrot. Hello. Oh, hello. Why aren't you reading? Oh, because I need to find a special book first. Ah, uh, special books are very nice. This one I'm reading is also very special. Oh, that's great. Well, I'll keep searching for my special book then. Okay. Wait, did I? Oh, I never actually looked in this. Many faces. This looks intriguing. By the faces crying blood. Leon Castillo. One of the thousand? I wonder what that means. I found myself hunting the truth but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, even though I never got a response. I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you were looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. Mr. Leon is old and he seems sad. Maybe you can see things that others can't. Oh yes, that sounds a lot like me. Interesting. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. The black shadows, I can see them too. They are everywhere. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel it at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to exi existence. Inside my head, a stone of wisdom inside my head. Cry because it hurts. Creepy. The monster is making other people sick too. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom. I can see myself around, the other me, tell me lies, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. And I have tried hypnotized by his words, but there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. Poor Mr. Leon. I like the drawings, though. That's nice. It must be the love to live. I meet a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Their race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining, and it walked away from me, leaving a black, oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. This creature, these creatures, I wonder why people call them. They exist to make people sick. 
Maybe that's the point, to realize they exist and get rid of them. I wonder why people can't see them. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. They melt like wicked witches in fairy tales. All peaceful creatures. If I looked like them, I would go around scaring bad people. It felt like the bright creatures could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. The thirst await awaits. All Vlokas must go there after waking up. If you wish, wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. Read thoughts? I think that's a bit scary. I guess we're always afraid of things we can't, can't understand. Especially if they seem nice. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must at least be four be at least four more. I was thinking that Athirsta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Velakas invitation. Since I saw the Velakas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head into a single, single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I don't understand the drawing. It looks interesting though. Maybe it's to show how time looks? I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things I've seen, but he didn't want want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son, he thinks I'm insane. Lonely with no family, huh? You should get a cat, Mr. Leon. My son thinks I'm insane. Bah, you're not, I can tell. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws. Because they are not only laws, but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors. Natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. I think I have to study some chemistry to understand what he means. It can be fun to understand how we are built and such. Oh, he seems sad. That's sad. Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work on platelets and white blood cells, but at, the but at a very high work as platelets and white blood cells, but at a very high speed. Oh, what creature can that be? Oh, mysterious pink water. Good for the plant that got better and bloomed. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in a thirst are varied. Varied. From roots to giant insects, roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Wow, I love the pictures. So many kittens and many colors. Oh, Ethersta. It feels like fresh airs. Crap. It's coming from the book. It looks like somebody ripped off some pages here. The Great Velakis is the beginning of the first reality, Prime Eve, Light. 
The Velakis body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of protons and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngster reach age 299,792,459, they are crowned with the shield. Are those letters? They sound funny. Well, I like the mask. I guess they call it a shield. That's old. Ziar, creation of the Great Velakis, king of Ithirsta, second reality, life. Being in Ithirsta feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Beautiful creatures, I love them. I like the trees and the crystals and the grass. Everything. The wisdom in the water? Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence, free, resides in the human world, third reality. Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. Center CD? The end of vibration, when both ends of opposites are the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality, death. Earth, that's my planet. Center CD? Mm. Mm. Death. Mabuka is the end of light. Wow, many heads. That must that creature must spend a lot of time thinking. Blood everywhere. The end of light? Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent fifteen years here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. If dark things from the dark are so dark, how do they find each other? Maybe they like it dark because they are so ugly. And they are so ugly that they prefer not to see each other. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments, that's why they look like they are growing hair, and the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. That must be Mr. Leon sitting there. Are those the shiny insects? Where is the hair comb? Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creat creativity, evolution is inevitable. What is this? The drawing on the left looks like an antenna. Oh no, somebody ripped off, ripped off the rest of the book. I never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Okay, wait. Was that there before? I don't even remember. So one, two, three, E. So this would be two. One and two is three. Dun -dun -dun is five. What's five? Five is E. Six, seven, E with line and two dots. Okay, eight. Two is three. Two 
2 and 3 is 5. 5 and 3 is 8. 8 and 5. That should be 13. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, no, that's thirty. Oh, okay, so thirteen would be this and three. it up because that's four. Okay. Should be right for eight. That one, there we go. Thanks for the book. Excuse me, sir. I need the book. Okay, bye. Oh, this looks interesting. I can't read the text, though. I recognize the four seasons and the creatures. I guess the great wizard likes to draw. I wish I could understand. Maybe it says that is good to look at trees? What is this? I never saw a skeleton having a baby. It seems that the baby will be born with a big head. Big headed persons are nice, just like me. This one looks like a cycle of some kind. I wonder what it means. Years, maybe? I like to think that there are five of me, so maybe. So maybe that's it. The monster. It seems people love him. Why would people love an evil, evil monster? Maybe they're scared. Fear makes us do stupid things. Let's get the crap out of here. Run away. Oh, wrong way. This way. Your book. So right here's your book. It was inside the musical box. I saw the doll. <laughs> the itward lock. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. This certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. Now what? There are two things left on the star. Yes. 
fish in the water. Fish, fish, swimming free. Go back, little fish. Go back home. That's normal. Wow, well, sir. You woke the fish up. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do that with other beings? Like humans? Of course, but only if the circumstances are positive. But the circumstances are often not positive. I see, sir. Hmm. So we need to find the missing stones, yes? The fish told me that my shoes are on the feet of an amazing dancer. Do you know where this dancer could be? I have no idea. I think I know. I'll go and see. So wait, can you make me human now? Here, sir. My clothing. Mm, let me smell this. This can work. We will make a human. Oh, this is so exciting. Good. Now go to the center of the Star of Ethirsta. And think about your body. Your head, your leg, the other leg, and your arm. Both of them. Now, concentrate. Randomly selected elements. Find your path to your true essence. Become friend, the human. Now. Oh god. Huh. Are you alright? What happened? Is it done? Oh, wow. Sorry. I hope it wasn't super loud. Thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Yes, that's my name. Great wizard because of the greatness. Well, thank you again, sir. This really is grand. See you soon. My darling friend, you are human again. Welcome back. Thank you, kitty. This feels great. All right, so, dancer. Where the heck was that? Boop. Uh, not that way. This is not the right way, because this is, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this way? Nope. Fuck. I don't remember where we're, we're at. Ugh. You can tell I'm getting tired. I can remember what never remember where the hell anything is. Alright, nope. Blah, blah, blah. That's that way. Where the fuck is it? It's not over here. Hmm. <sighs> Not that way. It's not that way. Oh, here it is. Cut. Boop. There was a hole behind the firewood. Splendid. Come on, kitty. Go inside. And remember, I need a ticket to get in, too. So, maybe you can take somebody else's? But I don't want to steal. We'll just borrow it, Kitty. We can give it back later, alright? Hmm. Alright.
Hello, lady. Can I borrow your ticket, please? Because my ticket disappeared. Oh, I can't. I'm using it as, as a coaster. This lemonade is very good. But why? You have a table to put the glass on. I don't like the sound of the glass against the table. I see. And you like this lemonade very much, right? Yes, I drink it because it's refreshing. Now, if you excuse me, I want to listen to the music. There we go. Oh, thanks. You have the ticket. You are incredible, kitty. I love you so much. Now we can go inside. I wonder... Maybe this can work. It worked before and it's lovely. Now we have our own ticket. Look, sir, I think this is my own ticket. Oh, I see, but you simply drew it yourself. Yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. Very clever, little lady. Well, I guess I can let you go in. Enjoy the show. Thank you, sir. I'll give this back to you. Here's your ticket, miss. I'm sorry, but I took it, and I wanted to give it back. Oh, goodness, you are very nice. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Now we need to... screw with this. I have the shoes. I'm so clever. Let's take them to the wizard. Sir, sir, I have the shoes. They are very pretty. Look. Whoa, you did it. You really have an extraordinary mach machine inside your head. Thank you, sir. Well, let's do the last one so I can go home. The last one, air. Hmm, I recognize this feather. It belongs to Palantris. Yes, I saw him very injured. Hmm, he will be fine. He has the pink water. I can fix everything. Yes, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? Go and visit the old Velakis mechanical doll. My wand will be there. I have to finish my rabbit science. <laughs> I think I have the answer. Okay, sir, I'll bring your wand back. <sighs> I hate this one. This one. Oh, wow, I actually did it the first first try. Usually I fuck that up a lot. Back to the wizard. Here's your wand, sir wizard. Oh magnificent. Splendid. You did it. Really? But where are the stones? Can I borrow them? 
I can't lend you the stones. These stones are very, very special. What I can do is place the stones in the locks of the door. But you, you were the only one who could turn the key and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king told me he would show me where the door is. Ah, then we should go and talk with him, don't you think? Yes, let's go to the castle. We can finally get out of here. Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. We kill the traitors, because that's what he is, friend. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised me to be by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did. We've promised to take good care of you. Wake up, friend. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, friend. I'm the only one who's always by your side. Now, let's get rid of this traitor, huh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. Go away, go away, it wasn't me. Fran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry that you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you became human again. That is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear, and I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that because you love me. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very much. Friend, remember what I told you? If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now let's go and open the gates so you can go home. Yes. Yes, let's do this. Here we are. Yes, but where is the door? Oh, right, I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. All right, here we go. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Oh, wow. We're going home, kitty. Ho, 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 the king. Good day to you. I brought the stone so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. Oh, this is his friend. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It will be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Falakas, and she is not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? You know what the Valakas told you? About facing your truth? Ah, yes. I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes. Go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. Well, now it's time for friend to be the key. You are the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right, let's see.
I smell victory. Again. You did it, friend. You can go home now. I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget you. You are a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot. Palantris, Palantris gave me this gave me this for you. Oh, well, thank you. Tell Palantris that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway, I'll tell him, don't worry. Palantris is better now. Oh, oh, before you go, you must know. Before you return to your reality, you will go through the secret woods. The woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities. And you may encounter terrible creatures there that want to eat you. But just run, they are quite slow. And you're telling me this now? That sounds very scary. Don't worry, you'll do fine. <laughs> I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I... I like you very much. Goodbye. Oh god. Let's click to jump. Oh, that I didn't see the hole. I'm stupid. For some reason I thought he was jumping over that weird face thing. Do do do. This isn't creepy at all, it's fine. Mr. Midnight, come back. The art style for this is pretty fucking cool though. I thought I did that too soon. We did it. Chapter 4, Part 1, My Imaginary Friend My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look. I think we are on the other- we are- I think we are at the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before when we fell into a thirsta? Yes, I remember. Great. Let's keep going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. <sighs> okay. I wanted to get- the heck out of a thirst if before I ended. But seeing as it's nearing 6 a.m., unfortunately, I should probably stop now. But for those of you that I think I see lurking, if you're still here, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream, and I will see you next time. Bye!